G'day guys, today's video is all about the soft cartwheel into QDR. So this is a super cool move that can be learnt through a series of progressions that I will show you in this video from easy to harder and then at the end as a bonus and as a thank you for sticking around, I'm going to teach you a nice neat little flow. All righty. Now I shouldn't have to say this, but I will because I'm 41 and pretty much considered an old guy now, but it's important to warm up, especially the shoulders. I like to add a little resistance to this external rotation of the rotator cuff to really prime the shoulder for that QDR position, which is this elbow lever position where we dig the elbow into the hip and support with the other hand. This will come in very handy later on when we get to the actual skill. Next, I like to warm up the low squat. Start off with some bounces. I like to put the knees a little wider, but always tracking the knees over the toes. And then this one really warms up those ankles, the knees and the hips. Internally rotating the knee can just create some different angles for the hip and then these knee pumps are great just for creating space in the hip capsule, stretching out the groin a little bit, and just helping create a bit more angle through the ankles. These rotations are great for opening up the upper back because we are rotating in this skill to come. Stretching the arm up can make these a little bit harder. If you have a small child handy, preferably your own, give them a chase around the yard. That's another great way to get the heart rate going. Okay, onto the wrists. Very important to warm up the wrists because they are taking a lot of load. These wrist circles are a nice way keeping the arm straight. And now we can move into palm presses, just externally and then internally rotating the palms around. If you have some extra resistance, like I do here, you can then move on to some scap raises using the shoulder blades just to prime the shoulders. A static QDR hold like this is handy, but not essential for this skill. And the reason for that is because we're not actually working a static hold, we're working a dynamic flowing position, which is slightly easier. Another skill that is handy is a soft cartwheel from the low squat position. As my daughter just demonstrated there, daddy's turn, high fives. Okay, from the low squat, I reach up, I make a diamond in the middle with my feet. And notice how soft I'm trying to be with my hands and my feet. If you have this, it may help. If not, again, do not fear because I have some solutions with some drills up ahead. Let's take a look at the pattern again here at full speed. And then let's slow it down. So you'll see I'm entering into my cartwheel. The legs are straight in this variation. They wheel around and then I face the same way in my low squat as I started. If we break this down, I reach across sideways, cock one leg to begin with. And then you can just look to try and plant the hip, switch the legs and then gently release into the low squat position. From this angle, you'll see how far I have to shift my head and chest forward to make contact with the elbow on the hip in order to create the turn. Let's slow that right down now. So I reach, I press up nice and tall, push my chest and head forward. My same side hip connects with the elbow and then I switch the legs gently placing them down into my low squat finish. This drill is a great one just to get started. So rather than moving laterally to the side, I'd like you to start off by pressing forward just to get the feel of contacting that hip and switching the legs. So you don't need to hold a long static hold here. You just need to cock that leg, lift the other one off and then finish facing the other direction than which you started. This will just start to get you the feel of that elbow position. Next, let's have a look at moving a bit quicker because if those static positions or those holds are just too hard, being there for less time may be easier. So this could be a great solution just to get a feel for the turn. 
So we're not inverting so much with this one. It's more just about feeling into the floor, traveling laterally, but just getting that spin and getting a feel for how we turn around the elbow as the pivot. Once you've had a play with those quicker ones, try to slow it down. So we press up tall, make contact with the hip, switch the legs and finish in low squat. So I'm traveling laterally, reaching across ways, pressing up tall with my leg, making contact with the hip, head and chest are forward. I switch the legs and then I recover into my low squat position. Once again, I drop down nice and gentle, switch the legs, finish in low squat. Make sure to practice both directions. It's quite normal for your bad side to be worse off. So that's my left side, it's not as silky. And then you wanna start adding speed to that. So start adding a little bit more momentum and it's actually easier with a little bit of speed once you know and can control the pattern. Next, I'd like you to think about keeping that top leg straight and you can do some weird things in between efforts like this just to feel silky and smooth. So notice here, I'm keeping that top leg straight and it creates a bit more of a wheel effect. I think it just adds a nice kind of aesthetic, nice straight leg, swoosh, finish in low squat. Let's do a slow one here so you can see what's happening. I reach laterally to the side. The top leg is straight. The legs are wheeling around and I finish in my low squat position. Again, make sure to do both sides. Here's one from my bad side, which you can see isn't as smooth. Next, as promised, here is a little flow to try. So we do our soft cartwheel into our QDR and finish with a turn into a monkey kick, or in capoeira, they would call that a chapelle de coro. Uh, pardon my Portuguese, it's not terrific. So essentially, I'll break this down for you nice and slow. We start off with the same pattern. So our soft cartwheel into our QDR, but then the feet placement change up a little bit here in order to get into that rotation and finish with the monkey kick. So we cartwheel in, I'm gonna do this one nice and slow. Notice that first leg plants quite wide and then we need to bring the second leg back up and around Let's have a look at this from behind. So I plant the hands, I wheel around, the first foot goes down, and then I sweep that back leg forward. It plants, I do a twist, and then monkey kick out. I'm gonna do one from the back, super slow. You can follow this one along if you like. So the hands place down. I do my soft cartwheel into my QDR. Notice the first foot plants. I bounce up, plant the second foot, I twist my feet, turn around, plant the other hand, and then in the same action, I shoot the front leg forward first and kick the second leg into a nice pivot or a nice turning exit. So this one is a lot of fun. Let's add a bit more speed to it again. Sweeping over, plant that foot, sweep through, plant, twist, put the hand down and kick that bottom leg low and the second leg goes high for your monkey kick exit. Full speed now, wooshka around, boom, feels so good. So a couple more of these, spinning around, a nice big circle with that second leg, feels so good when you get it flowy and smooth. Let's take a look from the other direction. Oh, this is another one I did where I added a roll A into the start. So this is just to give you an idea of how you can build flows. So I do a roll A and then I kick over into my soft cartwheel, into my QDR and then finish with my monkey kick. Here's another one, a roll A, kick over, soft cartwheel, QDR, bounce, pivot, turn, monkey kick. Oh, you don't have to do that little karate kick at the end there. <laughs> it wasn't very good, was it? One more to finish and monkey kick. If you would like to learn more, I have an online course 
called Locomotion Flow 2.0, it has dozens of skills and combinations and flows with much more detailed breakdowns and suggested training plans. And it will get you moving around like this weird, hairy little man <laughs> in the video here. So check out my website for all, all of those details. The course comes with its own app so you can access it on your phone and learn how to flow, get mobile, get strong. It's awesome. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for lots more to come.